Hello everybody, my name is Achara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. In the last episode, we released uh, my first role-playing game, I got a QA department, I expanded my dev team a little bit, I got a couple legendary developers in there, which is good. Research team is currently idle, is there anything valuable we could research with them? We could do subtopic and subgenre. Sure, that's, those are relatively cheap. Um, QA department is not doing anything right now. Let's grab a game report for First Fantasy. And while that happens, our main dev team will just do a little commission work here. Bang out these contracts right quick. A little extra money in the in my pocket. So the plan for today is we're going to sign a publisher exclusive contract. Which will mean we will make some extra money from our games. Which will be good. Um, Pirate Quest is almost off the market. Let's minimize that one. These ones are all selling well. So we got some pretty good profit coming in. Um, we can also make some sequels, which will have extra hype, which will help sales. So those two things combined should equal a good amount of money coming in. So publisher exclusive contract. So we get paid $10 per game, right? Instead, that's what the exclusive contract does. And I believe I believe they give us 150000 I think. I hope. We'll find out here. <laughs> yeah, so they give me money, which is good. So now we can make a new game. Um, racing games are the trend, but we did a racing game not that long ago. Adventure games are not popular right now. So let's make maybe a puzzle game. Or we could do a skill game. Those are relatively popular right now, but they're also there's a lot out there, right? Um, you know what? Let's do a racing game. Let's do a racing game. What do we have other than bikes that works with a racing game? Do we have anything other than bikes that works for a racing game? We know fish doesn't work for a racing game. But that was not a surprise. Um, yeah, none of this really fits for racing. Should I wait and get a better topic? Oh, so you can... Oh, wow. Okay. This market analysis button was not here. This was patched in since last time I played. There's two parallel worlds games right now. All right. So if we're not going to do a racing game, let's do a puzzle game. And oh, they're not that popular and it's somewhat um, saturated, but that's fine. We haven't done... No, we're not going to... We're not going to get bored fans from that. So that is good. Do I want to make a sequel, though, to, all right, so what, Dig Site would have 35 hype, but Dig Site's still on the market. Um, puzzle Pets, 25 extra hype. Yeah, let's do that. Size B, Adults, Puzzle Pets 2. I mean, hey, 25 free hype is 25 free hype, right? I will take it. Um, puzzle Engine. Although, don't I want to upgrade this engine? Yeah, so let's let's go in reverse for a minute here. I'm pretty sure that we can add a new feature to this. Yeah, primitive mono sound. Nice, okay. So that shouldn't take long to bang that out. I don't think. No, yeah, that was, that was super quick. All right, so now we will do our Puzzle Pets to the Revenge of the Pets. And we got Gamma Engine. All right, what are we looking at here? 3.1 million. Uh, 2 million. And 1.2 million. Beautiful. What's out there for dev kits? Oh, wow. Tapple 2 has 5.9 million. And this has 2.9 million. Katari 2600. Um, so, yeah. So, instead of this, we're going to do this. And instead of this, we're going to do this. Okay, good. So we need to get this fourth platform unlocked because there's actual real, <laughs> you know, consoles that have actual users out there that we are not currently uh, tapping into. All right, so this, oh, no, that's, that's fine there. That should be there. That should be there. That should be there. Um, well, let's look at the game report for Dig Sight, our most recent puzzle game. Actually, let's actually let's copy dig sites. Let's copy dig site here. Copy the design settings. Okay. 
And then let's take the letters for dig site. Too short. They want more beginner friendly and more casual. So length, beginner friendly, more casual. Okay, perfect. And they want better mission design. It's too easy and it's too violent. So too easy, too violent, better mission design. So we can turn that down, turn that down. And turn character design down again, I guess. So I feel like we're getting probably pretty close to where this stuff needs to be. Um, we'll leave those sliders where they are. We'll turn everything on here. And away we go. 25 extra hype, like we said, because it's a sequel. So let's improve gameplay here. Let's do five things this time. So that's, you know, it's a little more expensive, obviously, to make. But that's fine. First Fantasy is selling extremely well right now, which is good. That's a lot of money coming in off that. All right, did we win anything? It's probably too early to be winning anything. Yeah, I thought maybe First Fantasy, but hey, at least we didn't get worst game of the year. <laughs> Right, got to take the small victories. So we'll be able to do two topics. Oh, somebody's upset. Why are people upset? Um, Let's continue development. Let's get rid of these bugs. Are they cold in the hallway? Is that what's going on there? Oh, that's not... That's not the right button. Uh heater there see if that helps couldn't hurt I guess employees don't like being cold I get it all right so we got no research going on right now topics let's grab another some something that works for racing right so we want to make another racing game here soon all right so they're done and they're done with that okay so let's uh Finish development. Let's get you out. 70 to 90. So this might be over 80. This might be my first over 80% review score, which would be nice. So we got the publisher exclusive contracts. We have to turn it over to them, which is fine. So we're now pros at 2D line graphics. Still got some work to do on the primitive mono sound. A couple of these consoles were new at though, but we're also five stars on puzzle game now, which is nice. All right. And oh, we did it. We did it. We got our first over 80%. Beautiful. Gotta like that. That's good. All right. So let's bang out this commission work and let's do a game report. And you folks can just uh, automatically do topics while that happens. And then we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of quick game updates with our main development team. And then we will start making new games. Oh, the contract work keeps rolling in. That's fine. That's not an issue. Look at hey, look at our money on hand. It's 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 actually really going up. All right, pirate quest is off the market. Didn't make a whole lot off that, but we did make some, so that's that's fine. All right, so let's do a quick free update for First Fantasy, and then we'll do a, a quick update for Puzzle Pets. Do Puzzle Puzzle Pets Two is selling extremely well, like 10k a week. That is way over what my other games have sold. That's good, though. That's what we wanted, right? All right, so now, new game. New racing game. Or I could do a sequel to Biker's Revenge. Ah, it's still on the market, so let's not. Racing game. Where's cars? Cars. Random. Mix effect. How many times do I have to hit random before I get something that works? For a racing game. Not so good and evil. Princess Salad. Airman. Heart Caliber. Oh, there we go. Cash Car. Cash Car it is. Um, adults? I think anything works for racing games, though. Um, subtopics. Um, you know, I don't think any of this is going to work with racing. So let's actually leave that blank for now. And, um, oh, we didn't update our racing engine. I got to stop doing this. I always do the engine first, Looch. Come on. This isn't, this isn't your first rodeo, man. You got to know this stuff. So turn that on. Also, special platform will be the Tapple 2. 
since it has the biggest, uh, the biggest, what's call it? Biggest user base. All right, there we go. Now we can make cash car. All right, so remembered all the things I put in at least. And there, get the Tapple too. We got the Katari, and you. So yeah, so once we get the fourth platform, we'll be able to have the Pete in there, which is next to 2.4 million people, right? Turn on all the languages. Beautiful. All right, so let's let's uh, just copy Biker's Revenge's settings. Beautiful. Okay, so that's where it needs to be. That's where it needs to be. That and that. Okay. So let's take a little letters from Biker's Revenge here. Find out where we've gone wrong. They're enthusiastic about the controls and the graphics. Cool. Too short. More beginner friendly. Too much for core. Better level design. Too violent. All right. Can I remember all that? So too violent. Too much for core. More beginner friendly. Better level design. Right? I think is what it was. So let's move those down. That should be good, I believe. Yeah. No, I think that'll be good. Turn on everything that's relevant. So we will be max stars in all the features after this. Checkpoints is the only thing we don't have right now. And let's turn on... Let's just do four this time. That's that's enough, I think. That's, no, sorry, that's not what I want to do. I want to... Oh, licenses have been unlocked. So now I could make, like, games based off movies and books and stuff. Right? Which is cool. But in my experience... I don't know. Some people think it's worth it. In my experience, it hasn't been worth it, though. All right, so let's... Um, Graphic Studio is 500000 Sound Studio is also 500000 There's really no point in buying this extra property unless I have, like, the Graphic Studio unlocked, right? Um, training Room would be good as well. Support. So let's, get, let's grab the Graphic Studio. So that's a big investment in time and money, but that's fine. That's what the research team is there for. All right, so they are now squashing bugs. They are almost done. Only 50 to 70, so let's continue. Obviously, we got bugs to squash. And they can polish it up a bit, right? But yeah, you see, this only has two hype, right? Whereas, there, whereas if we had done a sequel, it would have more hype. But that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Um, Yeah, so let's put this out. Yeah, we're up to 60 to 80. That's, that's, that's what we need, right? Getting better at stuff as well. So the next game will be even better in theory. Yeah, we're over 70. That's the important thing at this point. We just want... I mean, obviously, now that we had one game over 80, we want everything to be over 80 in theory. But I'll be happy if we can stay over 70. Oh, wow. These are some valuable contracts. So let's definitely do those. Let's definitely do a game report on Cash Car. They're doing the Graphic Studio. And, of course, we do need to have $1.8 million for this. But the money's starting to roll in pretty good there now, I feel, right? Cash cars selling pretty well. So Dig Sight and Biker's Revenge are almost done. They're getting near the end of their life cycle. Any commission work here? No. It's always here, the commission work, right? I wish it was spread out a little more amongst the rooms. And it keeps coming in. I can't, I can't get through it fast enough. But yeah, look, I got 1.6 million in the bank, and that's after spending 500,000 to research the graphics studio, right? So we'll have enough money for that property pretty soon. And we got cheat codes coming in. Okay. So we're going to do an update for. We're going to do all three of these games because they're still selling well enough. We'll blast through these pretty quick. It just sucks that my, my QA team's just sitting around twiddling their thumbs right now, right? But that's not the end of the world. But this is why you want to have more than one development team, right? But I'm just not... I just don't have the space for it yet, right? It, it'll come. I'll have two development teams soon enough. Okay, so that one's done. And then we need to do one for Cash Car. And then we'll make a new game. We will make... What? What do we want to make here? Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. So we could do a skill game. We don't want to do adventure for sure. I'm thinking another role playing game. Is my role playing engine all the way up to date? 
I don't think it is. I don't think it has the sound thing in it. No. And we want to change this to the Tapple 2. The PC should be becoming um, into the world here soon as well, right? All right, so let's get this engine going. And let's make a new RPG. We're not going to do a sequel yet because First Fantasy is still on the market. I don't like making sequels for games where the original game is still on the market. Although, later in the game, when it takes longer to make a game, you can start making it while it's still on the market. But it's so quick to make a game at this point that that doesn't make sense to me. All right, so let's go Orcs and Dragons. And we will call this Orcs versus Dragons. I know, very, very imaginative title. I'd like to uh, take a bow for that one. It's, it's so good. Um, but yeah, so what this allows us to do is essentially lets us level up two topics at a time, right? That's why having multi-topic is good. Multi-genre is good, but it's also... Like, so if we, if we had this unlocked and we made this like an RPG slash adventure game, which does work together... But everything we've learned about role-playing games or adventure games doesn't apply. Like a, a multi-genre game, each multi-genre combination is like a, a, a new... Um, has It has different ideal settings, right? Here's the settings, right? So anyway, so that's why I'm, I'm less eager to do multi-genre, whereas multi-topic doesn't have that issue, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to spit out. So when does copy protection become unlocked? Not yet. Oh, it doesn't say when. All right. So let's uh, let's copy our first fantasy settings, and then let's look at our letters for first fantasy. All right. So that's a lot of letters. No way I can remember all this. Better story, longer core, longer better story core and character design too innocuous too easy too innocuous too easy character design boom boom so that means we need to turn down three points worth we know it's not this one this one or this one so it's gonna have to be here right try that that should be pretty good i feel like I hope. All right, we'll turn on all seven things. None of them are green, but they all do apply, and they're all at max experience level, which is helpful as well. And, oh, what's going on here? They're upset that there's no garbage can. Oh, no, there's garbage. Well, he's coming to clean your garbage, so don't worry about it. Let's just do four. That seems to be a good balance. All right, so they almost got the graphics studio unlocked. Once they do, there's a couple of features to research, and then we will be able to buy this and get a graphic studio, right? Which is which is perfect. So they're already fixing bugs, but there's still 21 bugs. Hey, 60 to 80, and that's with all those bugs. That's good. That's a good thing. This might be my last game to not have uh, not have the graphic studio involved. All right, we're going to go large booth for sure. We got the money, and we got three games. All right, so we'll do Puzzle Pets 2. We'll do Cash Car, and we will do Orcs versus Dragons. Get some hype up on these. The extra fans will also help. Okay, Biker's Revenge is off the market. Problem is, though, we need... Uh, I'm going to need support soon, right? My, my fans are going to get upset if I don't get support soon. All right, so I should probably finish development on this one. Still 60 to 80, that is fine. It's getting more expensive to make games, though. But this will end up in the black. I'm pretty confident. Oh, yeah, especially 76% review. That'll definitely end up in the black. So there's no commission work. So let's do updates for... We'll do Puzzle Pets. We're not going to do First Fantasy. We're going to let that one die slowly. Well, die is not the right word. <laughs> We're going to let it sail off into the sunset. Right, we're not gonna we're not gonna try to make it stay. All right, so there's our fourth platform unlocked. That'll help sales as well. All right, so let's blast through these two gameplay features: cheat codes and password saves. Beautiful. 
And then let's do an update for Kashkar. And then we'll do an update for Orcs vs. Dragons. So all three of these games are selling extremely well. Like Puzzle Pets 2, we've made one point, almost 1.6 million in profit, right? Which is pretty crazy. At this point in the game, that's a lot of money. But that will allow us to buy this and get a graphic studio on the go. Um, so what else is available here? Genres, strategy. Okay, so action. Action's my specialty. It's coming soon. That'll be good to get to. All right. So how big do we want the graphic studio to be here? And do I want to put a break room over here? Do I want people and and toilets, or do I want people to have to come over here for that? Right. That's that's a question that I will need to answer. So how wide is this? Thirteen. So let's go six. That should be plenty big enough for now. That'll leave space for... I don't know, what else? What's priority? Sound studio? Training room? Second development room? Like, I'm honestly not sure what I should prioritize. I feel like I could fit three wide here if I jam them in. Yeah, I can. Okay. So I'll have to move that down. Well... How many, how big does this room really need to be, right? I don't think it needs to be, like, I don't need, I don't need nine graphics people right now, right? Not even close. So let's put, like, a cabinet in here. Um, let's make sure they have a trash can and all that, since, you know, if there's not one in here, they'll have to go all the way to the other building, and I don't want that. I don't want people going to the other building for stuff, right? I'll make sure they have everything that they would possibly need. All right, well, are you going to let me put this medicine cabinet anywhere? Right there, apparently. All right, so heater here, heater here. And there. Is that covered heating? Yep. Of course, they're going to get cold out there. I can put an electric heater. Because they're going to have to walk outside to go to unbreak, right? Which is... It's less than ideal. Let's get a little palm tree in here. Nice. Okay. And then, what kind of posters do we want in here? Some artistic drawings? I mean, it is the graphic studio, right? So it makes sense to have artistic drawings. In my opinion. And let's go back to one of the old carpets. How's that for quality? Perfect. All right, now the question is, is there any graphic designers out there? There's one. <laughs> of course, there's only one. But what I can do is I can take the graphics person out of here that I have. I just have the one in here, right? Yeah. Let's pull you out, put you in there, and then let's hire. Let's hire another programmer, actually, if there's any. There's three. That's, uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, where are the programmers? Let's just sort by programming. All right, so this person is an all-rounder, which is nice, especially for the development room. They don't get sick, and they like plants. There is a plant in there. The other people have negative traits. So, Marie, welcome to the team. All right, so now I'm thinking sequel. Of uh, the bike game, I forget. I forget what it's called already. Um, is the racing the racing engine is up to date, so that's fine. Okay, so develop a game sequel. Um, where's it at? Not days race. Bikers Revenge. There it is. Not days race. Definitely not days race. Computer and game console. Teenagers Works, Biker's Revenge 2. And we got the engine. We also have the four platforms now, which is nice. So, Tapple 2, obviously. The Kateri, obviously. And then we're looking at the Tapple 1 and the Pete. Nice. So yeah, we're reaching almost 30 million people with these. Getting better at this stuff. All right. So, that is the settings from. 
Kashkar. And this is the settings from Kashkar. Okay. So now let's look at the letters for Kashkar. Only five. Okay. And two are their enthusiastic. So two core, level design, two violent. Two core, two violent, level design. So story probably can go down. But these aren't right, so they must have they must need to go up. Right? In theory, if they're not right, even though we didn't get a letter about it. So I can probably take some points out of graphics now. Now that we have a graphics studio, even though there's only two people in there <laughs> right now. All right, so password saves and cheat codes both work. So at some point in the near future, we're going to have to start making B plus size games because um, you can only have 10 features. We're at, we have nine now. So we're not quite at that point yet, but it will be soon. So we get 25 pipe right out of the gate. Let's do all those. And there's only two people in here, so we're just going to do two for now. We'll see how long it takes, and we'll add more if they do it. Oh, what's going on? Global supply bottlenecks. Minus 50% fan merchandise sale. I don't have fan merchant yet, so that's fine. Biker's Revenge lost eight gameplay points that is also not a big deal none of that okay i was scared because that was like scary music but <laughs> none of that really matters in the long run to me at the moment also pets too depicts too much violence oh no all right so let's uh let's continue development we got bugs okay so they're polishing so let's actually let's cancel the polish I didn't really watch to see how long they've been polishing for. So let's put that on. And can we get them an extra graphics? Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two graphics people. All right. Well, you... You have a negative trait, but that's... I don't mind this one. This is the one where they take breaks even during crunch times, which I don't mind, right? I, I don't have a lot of crunch anyway, right? So it's not a big deal. All right. So that one's done. Oh, yeah. Look at all those graphics points. This one's going to be... This should be good. Because I'm pretty sure graphics are important for a racing game. Yep, yeah, 70 to 90. Which usually means it's over 80. Right? Like, gen I find this estimated rating, the vast majority of the time, you're on the right side of it. Right? Like, when it says 70 to 90, it's probably over 80. Although, watch. This, this one's going to be under 80 just to make a liar out of me. Possibly. Hopefully not, though. Or it's going to be 80 right on the nose. Which, hey, that's a hit. So we're happy with that. And we are now in Indie Studio. A one-star studio. Nice. That's good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So they're still doing strategy here. And uh, you know what? Actually, I think this is a good spot to stop. So we got what we wanted. We got our graphic studio. So in the next episode, we're going to fill this, this building in. With what? I'm not sure. Um, cause, I mean, our options are sound studio training room and i mean we can probably get more than one of these we can probably get two of them but sound studio training room second development room support and marketing right we could probably fit two of those well it depends which two we could, if like support could fit here marketing could fit here which would leave room for either a training room or second development room Sound studio, though, is big, so it would take up a lot of space. So I guess what I'm saying is let me know in the comments what I should do with this space. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Support me on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below to all those. But most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.